Okay, here's the hardwood floor. Um, I need to sand and refinish. This hardwood floor uh, has been a problem, particularly because all of this old carpet glue and mastic stuck to it. I'm not sure if it's glue or mastic, but um, it is really hard to get off. Like I've tried and tried and tried with a razor. Well, this is just a paint scraper, but I've also used a straight razor to try to get all this stuff off. And it is just, it's going to take too much time. So, I was looking and looking, and I found something called a diam diama brush. Diama brush. And that is what I'm going to use to attempt to get all this really hard, I guess it's like crystallized glue. And so, the scraper kind of works, but I mean, it would take forever to get this stuff off. Some spots it's a lot easier than others, like here, it's coming off pretty good. But other spots it's nearly impossible. So, I'm going to try this diamond brush wood tool and see how it goes. So, all of these floors have this old stuck carpet glue, carpet pad, mastic, whatever it is that needs to come off um, before sanding. Otherwise the sandpaper is just going to get gummed up. So I will post another video as I go or add on to this video and show you the results. So, first impressions with the Dyma brush is this thing is doing an awesome job. Really awesome job. Um, got my dust mask here because it's really dusty um, since there's no vacuum. And I'm actually happy there's not a vacuum because I'd be emptying it every uh, three minutes. Uh, but really, look at this. This hard to scrape old glue on here is is coming off with ease. Now it's not it's not just flying off. You gotta you gotta sit there with the uh, diamond brush for a little while and and let it do its thing and kind of work it back and forth. But it it gets it off. It's doing a great job. And what you're left with is like a, a really rough sanded floor. So you still gotta go hit it with your, your I don't know, two or three levels of sandpaper, but it's getting all that really hard, sticky stuff off. And uh, at first, this thing was uh, like trying to ride a wild horse. I mean, it was all over the place on me, but as I got used to it, you kinda, you kinda feel you know, pulling up, we'll make it go to the right, pushing down, we'll kind of make it go on the left. You kind of got to get a good balance to not let it run around on you. But yeah, this thing is, is doing a great job. You can see very clearly here where I've hit and where I haven't. And this was just a big pile of this stuff, but I swept it all up already. So I'm going to get back to work and get this room done. Okay, so I've had this diamond brush pretty much all day. It took me about, I don't know, six or seven hours, but I got the whole house done. Got all the floors ready to sand. Um, rented this thing from Home Depot. Cost me about 150 bucks for the, the floor maintainer and the diamond brush attachment. But wow, these floors are ready to sand.
Got all that sticky old carpet glue off. It wasn't sticky, it was hard. It was really stuck to the floor. And I think I probably wore out these uh, diamond brush teeth pretty good. Um, but that's what they're made to do. Um, it worked great. So I'm really happy with the, with the diamond brush here. Ready to move on to the sandpaper and get these floors stained, pallid, ready to go. Okay, so here is the finished floor. This is actually several months later now because, as you can see, I've got furniture and some rugs and stuff for living. But the floor looks great. Um, focus. Floor looks great. Stairs are all, all nice. Finished. So after sanding, after staining, after polyurethaning, this is the finished product. I really like these old, old floors because you get a lot of character in the wood. As you can see, looks like all this cool striping through here. Um, there it is. 100 plus year old floor. Redone. Um, the only thing that I could say I did wrong using the... Um, well, not necessarily did wrong, but I could have done better was it left some scratch marks that's from the the diamond brush after sanding it three times all different grits uh just did not get down there i should have used a belt sander probably but i used an orbital sander so it didn't quite get deep enough but i mean for me i'd say it's good enough so there's the finished product